No tour would be complete without a visit from Buddha Cat. Oh, this guy. Look at this guy. Greetings there, fellow makers. Welcome down to the shop. I'm Bill, and today I'm giving you a little bit of a tour and some updates we've been doing in the shop, plus a look into what we have in store for 2016. First, updates, shop upgrades all around. We hit a big milestone over on our Patreon campaign. Thanks to you guys, and we've been dumping that money into upgrades for the channel so that we can make better YouTube content for you. First upgrade, this camera. This is the Sony RX100 uh, Mark V, and it's amazing. The uh, really cool thing about it, other than being a really nice camera, is that it has a screen that's facing me so I can see myself while I work and while I talk to you. So now when I shoot, I can see what's going on. There we go. And I won't be filming and have my elbow in front of the camera and not notice it. For comparison, this is what I've shot just about every video on so far. This is my uh, Nikon D7000. It's a great camera, it's a little bit older, but it doesn't have a flip out screen, so I can't see myself while I work. So this uh, little Sony camera is a huge upgrade and it's been really, really helpful. I've been using it for the last few weeks. I'll keep this guy around, it'll be useful for plenty of other things, but this is the new workhorse of the shop. You may also have noticed that I sound a little bit different. That's because I've upgraded the mic that I use. Hmm, this guy right here. It's a little lav mic. This is a Tascam lav system thing that's really awesome. So, uh, for example, I'll give you a uh, little insight into an old video with my old setup and a new one. Here we go. Greetings, fellow makers. I'm Bill. Welcome down to my prop shop. Greetings, fellow makers. Welcome down to the shop. I'm Bill, and today I'm going to show you how I made this giant epic axe. There, you can clearly see the massive upgrade in audio quality, which I think makes a big difference. Again, thank you for uh, the support, patrons. All of that money gets dumped into doing things like buying new audio gear. So, thanks again. And speaking of gear, I built a new shelf. This is to organize all of my camera gear. So here it is. It's got some doors that I bought, that, that top unit there I bought, and the bottom unit I bought as well, but I built everything in between to hold them together. I put a light in here, whoop. Oh, it's like looking into the surface of the sun. There we go, I've got this nice uh, station here where I can work on things. I have all of my charging stuff set up. I have battery chargers up here and I built this shelf or this drawer to organize all my batteries. So I've got camera batteries, you know, double A, triple A, nine volt, uh, some of these bigger ones here. Got a battery checker. They're all organized. They're not all just sitting in a drawer like they were before. Now they have their own spot. Up top is more organization. We have like tripod mounts and stuff. We have lights over there. We have battery chargers here. And then up top, things can stay clean like camera lenses and audio equipment. So we shut that. Good to go. So this whole thing right here is a huge upgrade for me, keeping things organized and helping our video production. Speaking of video production, this is a little system thing that I put together with the new camera. So this is an arm that's meant for, I guess, hunting, like you'd put it on a tree. I don't know. I use it for my shop. It mounts to the wall here, and then it has an arm with my camera on it, and I can position this so that I aim at the thing I'm supposed to be working on, and it's good to go. Uh, I can also do this flip out thing here so that when I'm working on something, I can work on the thing and then look up at the monitor and see if my elbow's in front of it, which is something I would do all the time with my old DSLR. So this thing is really cool. And the best part is this comes off and I have multiple mounting points around the shop. I'll show you. This is where I do most of my work. So I have this mounting point whoop, right there. And this can then follow me around and point at what I'm working on right here. But I have a couple more. This is next to my bandsaw, my spindle sander, and if I flip around, we have the scroll saw, the belt sander, and the belt and disc sander. And this can move over there and cover all of those. Plus the big belt sander and the drill press. Whoop. And of course, the creepy paint room. Good to go. Continuing the tour upstairs, we've added some pieces to our collection. So down here, you can see the uh, lightsaber build we did. This was the uh, Sean Charlesworth designed lightsaber. Of course, there's a video on that over there. 
underneath some of my other next to Mr. Handy and underneath the Mass Effect guns is the Malcolm Reynolds pistol that I recently did. And then over here on the awesome wall is the Boolean Gemini, all done and displayed properly above the fusion rifle that Will Morgan made. Very, very nice. Some other projects over here that we've been working on, some kits. Uh, there's a Hoku props kit. There's a Sorenzo props kit. A couple things that Brittany put together. Speaking of Brittany, hi. Hi. Britt's up here getting some work done on the old computer machine, uh, getting things ready for 2017. Big projects? Yes. Lots of fun stuff. There you go, gang. A bunch of shop updates. Thank you very much to our patrons for helping us because without you, we couldn't have made all these upgrades. We couldn't be pushing forward into 2017, ready to make a whole bunch of new content. And speaking of our patrons and speaking of content, I'm finally kicking off our patron project. You guys voted over the summer to have me build the Tesla rifle from Fallout 4 and I'm kicking off that build. All of the updates for that, all of the progress and any videos that I do on that will be shared with our patrons only. So if you want to follow along with that build, get the blueprints and all that, then head on over to our Patreon campaign, patreon.com slash punish props and become a patron at any level and you will get all of that update uh, and progress on that project. And just in general too, all of our viewers are wonderful uh, prop charts. Thank you guys so much for hanging with us over the last year. We've had a lot of fun. We've done a lot of really cool projects. Couldn't do it without you guys. Keep being awesome. We're gonna keep making stuff. So we'll see you all and I hope you have a wonderful 2017 and I hope you have some really cool projects lined up. So let's get out there and make some things. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you don't miss any of our new weekly prop and costume tutorial videos. For more goodies, head over to our website where you'll find blueprints, tutorial books, articles, and more. We also have a second channel for our Q&A show and extra behind the scenes videos. Thanks again and happy crafting.